Welcome to Dennis Tech Tips. In this video, I want to show you how you can use formulas in Microsoft Excel. Right here in Microsoft Excel, I have a list of formulas. As you can see, there are 17 in numbers. So if there is any one of them that you are most interested in on this list, you can use the timestamps in the description to jump to that section. So let's get started. So we are going to start with very basic mathematical operations, which are addition, which is represented with the addition sign. Subtraction represented with the subtraction sign. Multiplication represented with the asterisk sign. And division represented with the forwarding slash. Now one basic rule you should know is that all formulas start with the equal sign. If I want to add up some numbers and I just type in the numbers which has the equal sign. Let's say 1 plus 1. And I press enter. You see it doesn't add up. But if I insert the equal sign and then press 1 plus 1 and hit on the enter key, right there it gives me my answer. The equal sign helps Excel to understand that you are trying to do a calculation. I can also calculate numbers in different cells. So I have one here and I have one here. To add these numbers, I will insert the equal sign on the cell I want my answer to be. And select the first cell I want to add. Insert the mathematical operation and select the other cell. If there are more cells, I can continue to add mathematical operations and then the cells. When I am done, I will press the enter key on my keyboard and that's it. Or you can use cell references. When you insert the equal sign, type in the cell reference. In this case, I have the first number in column B, row 1, which is cell B1. I am going to type in B1. Type in the mathematical operation, in this case, the plus sign. For the next number, I have it on column C, row 1, which is cell C1. I am going to type in C1. When I am done with all the cells I want to add up, I am going to hit on enter. And there I have 2 as my answer. If I am to subtract, I have 4 here and I have 2 here. So I'll say equal sign 4 minus 2. And 2 is the answer. To multiply, I have 2 here and I have 5 here. So I'll say equal sign 2 times 5. And press enter. Gives me 10, which is true. For division, if I am to divide 10 by 2, I will say equal sign 10 forward slash which stands for division 2 and then press enter and I have 5 as my answer. Next I have the sum function. With the sum function I can add up all values within a given range. So let's say I want to add up all the values at the top right here. What I can do is that I will type in the equal sign, type in the sum function, open bracket. And then I will begin to type in all the cell references, one after the other, separating them with commas. I will say B1, comma, C1, comma, D1, comma, till I get to the last one. Now that's work. Instead of doing that, I would simply select the range of cells I want to sum, like this, and then press the enter key on my keyboard. And there it gives me 46. One thing you should also know is that these cells are dynamic. If I make any changes to any of the values I add up to get my answer, it will reflect in my answer. If I change this from 10 to 5, my answer will reduce by 5. Main gives you the smallest number in a given range. If I type in the equal sign, type in the mean function, open brackets, select my range and then press enter. I have 1 as my answer, which is the smallest up there. Max does the opposite of mean. Max gives you the largest number in a given range. To get max, I will type in the equal sign, the max function, open brackets, select my range, and then press enter. 10 is the biggest number there. Next is the count function. 
it gives you the number of cells that have numbers in them within a given range. So I'm going to type in equals count open brackets select the range and I have 12 as my answer. If I should clear one of these numbers, you see that my answer changes. And if I replace the number with a letter, it still will not add up. Because the count function only counts cells that have numbers in them. The count A function on the other hand counts cells that have values in them. It doesn't matter if it's a number or a letter. So if I say equals count A, open brackets, select range, and then enter, it gives me 12 as my answer. If I change this letter to a number, the answer remains. If I remove any value, my answer will change. Average calculates the total average of numbers in a given range. I have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and 60. To calculate the average of these numbers, I will say equals average, open brackets, select my range, and press enter. I have 35. Up next, I have median. Median gives you the middle number in the set of numbers in a given range, arranged in ascending order. To calculate for median, equals median, brackets open, select range, and press enter. Concatenate joins several text strings into one text string. If I have Dennis here on this cell, and I have Tech here on this cell, and I want them to be together in this cell, I will simply use the concatenate function. So I will say equal sign, concat, brackets open, select the range, and then hit on enter. Next is the if function. This is where logic comes in. This function performs a logical comparison between two values. This is how it works. I have Dennis on this cell. I will insert the equal sign. If function, open brackets, then select the cell. Equals again, open quotation, Dennis, close quotation, comma, open quotation, subscribe, close quotation, comma, open quotation, like, close quotation, close brackets, and then press enter. So if I am to interpret this formula, it is, if this cell contains Dennis, say subscribe. If it doesn't, say like. You see right there it says subscribe, because the cell contains the word Dennis. If I change the value from Dennis to tips, the answer changes because it is no longer true. So I'm going to need you to study this formula closely for better understanding. Count if count cells within a range that meets a particular criterion or condition. If I want to know the number of cells within this range that have the number 2 in them, I will simply insert the equal sign, count if function, open brackets, select my range, comma, and type in the criteria, which in this case is 2, and then press enter. So I have four cells that have the number 2. VLOOKUP allows you to find values in a table or a range by row. Right here I have Dennis. And Dennis is an employer. I have Raymond. Raymond is an employee. And I have Nate who happens to be a client. So what I want to do is to type in values on this column just to get what is on this column. To do that, I'm going to insert the equal sign, VLOOKUP function, open brackets. So let's say I am looking for Raymond's position in the organization. I will open quotation, Raymond, close quotation, comma, select my range, comma, column index number. So right here I have column 1, 
column 2. That is the second column. So I'm going to type in 2 and press enter. And there it is. It is just using the values of this column for this one. Sum if calculates the sum of values in a range based on a true or false condition. Down here I have Dennis, Raymond, Nate, Dennis. And under them I have 10, 20, 30, and 40. So I want to calculate only the values that belong to Dennis. I will insert my equal sign, sum if function, open brackets. Select my range. Insert the criteria Dennis. Select the sum range and then press enter. And it gives me 50. All the values that belong to Dennis equal 50. And lastly, we have current time. This is just to tell the time. Type in equals. Now. Brackets open bracket close and then press enter and to give you the current date and time. So that's it. That is how to use formulas in Microsoft Excel. It is one thing to know how to use a formula and another to know when to use it. You will not know when to use a formula unless you understand what the formula does. So take time to study these formulas so you know when to use and apply them. If you find this video helpful, please give it a like. To see more videos like this, subscribe to the channel and turn on post notification. Thank you and I will see you on the next one. Bye.